hello welcome to my channel natural crowning i am talking about postpartum must-haves in my first video the link is below i gave you my top five postpartum must-haves today i'm giving you the additional five and the reason why i produced this video is because when a woman is pregnant it's a special time and there's a lot of emphasis on her on her body and the baby but there's not enough attention given to the postpartum recovery period so i am giving you my insight not medical advice because i'm not a doctor but my insight and so number six breastfeeding support items i am breastfeeding and it's a wonderful journey however i've had some challenges so here are some items that can help you on your journey you're going to need some cream so cream, you may have sore or cracked nipples, hopefully you won't, but in the event that you do, having some cream can help relieve pain and it's perfectly safe for your baby. And then also, you may need some disposable nursing pads and you just put these into your bra and it will help catch leakage so that way you're not walking around um, with wet spots on your, on your blouse. Okay, and then I have these Medela breast shields and these were given to me from the lactation consultant at the hospital. We bonded, so she gave me a lot of items. But these are from Medela, which I love the brand. And they have a dual purpose. Some women use this in regards to um, bringing the nipple out. I'm not using it for that purpose. I use, use these to put over the nipple to protect my nipple from the fabric of my bra. And it provides some relief. And then as a bonus, it catches milk as well. So check these out. And then my great medical, my great lactation consultant from my medical team, she gave me these. Oh, and these are so therapeutic. These are the three in one breast therapy Thero Pearl pads. And so you just put these in the microwave, follow the instructions on the box, and you put these over your breast, and it helps with engorgement. It helps bring the milk down. So when you're breastfeeding, more milk can transfer to your baby and they just provide some relief. And then also, I suggest investing in an electronic breast pump machine. They can be pricey. However, there are ways around it, around that. Um, check with your community organizations. They may have some that they can give you depending on the situation. Um, you can probably rent one. Um, you could probably, they probably loan you one. And then also your insurance, the affordable health insurance, they, um, they cover electronic breast pump machines. So you may want to <laughs> get one while you can. But either way, having a breast pump machine, it, it frees up your energy after you, um, you pump. You can just store the, the milk or put it in a refrigerator and then your partner or spouse can feed the baby and give you some relief but that way your baby is um, still getting your breast milk. And if you're storing your wonderful milk in the freezer, you're going to need some bags. So these are some bags um, from Lassana and you just put the milk in here and it, you can put your, your, the time, the date, and how much that you're storing. And then also put it in this storage bag as well. You just put them in the freezer and voila. <laughs> so there you have it okay number seven you're going to need a support team now a support team is different from having a plan in, in the sense that it it's an, a continuation an extension of having a plan the plan is something that you're going to do a support team it involves other people so um, just think about some of the, the people that you're going to need to help make the, the transition smoother that for you or for me, for me, it meant having a lactation consultant on hand. So I had I had a, a breastfeeding expert and lactation consultant outside of the hospital. Um, you may want to um, look at hiring a, a maid or a nanny or a gardener, whatever you think you're going to need or to help make the process smoother. Then just invest. And hey, and ask your family and friends to help out. Ask them to, you know, do the dishes or uh, cut the grass you know this is the time to reach out and ask for support number eight what you're going to need my postpartum must-have is a postpartum 
check appointment. Now this is very important because this is a time for you to talk to your doctor or midwife about how you're feeling emotionally and then physically to make sure everything is working properly, that you don't have any infections or if you have soreness, um, if you need any prescriptions uh, filled or um, additional medicine prescribed, talk to your, your doctor or midwife. Um, let them give you the, the physical examination and then they'll also talk to you about your mental state as well. And this is very important. Um, I want you to be healthy. So please make this appointment and keep this appointment. <laughs> okay. Number nine, you're going to need a journal. And I, I have this beautiful journal here. I'm a traditionalist. And the reason why I like journals is because it's a way to check in with yourself, jot down your thoughts, uh, how you're feeling, um, how you feel about your baby, how you feel about yourself after having a baby, um, your, your family, your goals, your, your dreams, your fears. Check in with yourself. Write one to three pages. If you can't write one to three pages because you may not have time, a paragraph just to express your thoughts. You can write poetry. You can just write whatever you want. Just let yourself go. And number 10, I would suggest having a baby registry post baby. And the reason for that is because after you give birth to your wonderful baby, people may ask you, well, what do you need? I know for, in my experience, after I gave birth, my husband and I, we were so grateful to have so many people ask us what we needed. We um, created a registry. So people just went to the registry, purchased the items, and we received all of these wonderful items um, at our doorstep. So invest in um, the time into creating a registry either before or after um, the reason why it worked out well for us after creating the registry after is because we there were some things that we needed and we didn't know we needed it and needed them until after i gave birth okay and then as a bonus get some rest this is a special time so take care of yourself and get some rest and i just want to say the happier and healthier you are the more equipped you are to take care of others. I know as women, we're, we're givers. And so that's something you wanna keep in mind. But more importantly, you wanna be happy, healthy, and whole for yourself. So these are my postpartum must-haves. Um, take good care of yourself. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, share with your family and friends. And until we connect again, be loving, be natural, be empowered.